Hi, in this video I am discussing how we can remember grade 10 NCRT mathematics. There is a chapter trigonometry, one of the important chapters, not only in grade 10, after grade 10, if you are taking science stream, I mean mathematics, you need this result. This is the basic result. Grade 10, a lot of results are there. You might know what is sine, cos, tan, cosec, sec, cot. To remember sine, cos, tan, we have a code SOH. This code we can use. What? SOH, CH, and TOA. I used to call Socato. Socato. Sine means sine is opposite by hypotenuse. For time being, we are taking right angle triangle ABC, and this we are considering for in the basically we are considering for what acute angle. So these two are the acute angle, this and this. So according to this angle, this is the opposite side, this is the hypotenuse side, and this is what adjacent side. So sine is opposite by hypotenuse. Side of which angle? Which angle is given based on that you have right? Sine is what opposite by hypotenuse, cos is what adjacent by hypotenuse, tan is what opposite by that only the circuit of sine opposite by hypotenuse, cos adjacent by hypotenuse, tan opposite by adjacent. These are the basic thing and this reciprocal. What is sine reciprocal? Cosec, cos reciprocal, sec, and tan reciprocal, cot. And you know you already learned that one complementary laws and the reciprocal ratios, complementary laws. What is complementary ratios? Sine complementary cosine, cosine, complementary cosine, uh, tan complementary, cos complementary is what sine, tan complementary is what cot, uh, cosec complementary, cosec, complementary sec, sec complementary uh, cosec, tan complementary cot, cot complementary tan. That everything you learn. And after that, you learn identities. What is the identities? Uh, cos square plus sine square equal to 1. Cos square a minus cot square equal to 1, 6 square a minus tan square equal to 1. A lot of results are there and these are rearranged results also. How we can remember this everything easily in a single diagram? We have 6 trigonometric ratios that is what sin cos tan cos sec cot. Is it? So I am just going to draw one hexagon. Listen, this we are calling super hexagon or magic hexagon. In this hexagon, whatever result you learn in grade 10, completely you can. See, I am just writing a Hexagon. Listen. Why hexagon? Because we have six trigonometric ratios. Everyone should remember what result? Sin a by cos a equal to what tan a. That result don't forget. This already we proved. Tan a equal to what sin a by cos a. This only you have to remember. Tan a equal to what sin a by cos a. Cot a equal to what cos a by sin a. That I am going to mark in the diagram. This how we are marking that you have to remember. To remember that I am telling tan A equal to sin A by cos A. Like that we are right. Now opposite to tan you write cot. Again I repeat tan A equal to what sin A by cos A. And opposite to tan you write cot. Now just think about there is an imaginary line. There is an imaginary line. Just there is an imaginary line. So which one is starting with the co? Cos A, cot A. One more is starting with the co. Which one? Cosec A. That cosec A you write here. All co function. We are calling co function. Co ratios. Cos A, cot A and cosec A you write here. Complement ratios. Now one more balance is there. Which one? You just check which one? Ck. Ck you want to write here. This much I wrote. This arrangement you don't forget. Now please see the result how it comes. Where I am putting the arrow heads, that's the result. Please see. First result is coming. Tan A equal to, the arrow heads is going towards this one. Sin A by cos A. Tan A equal to what? Sin A by cos A. Now going to, towards this one. Tan A equal to what? Ck by cos A. Actually this result you didn't learn. But it is the same thing only. If you are checking, you can see that one. Again, first arrow is going towards this direction. So tan A equal to sin A by cos A. Tan A equal to ck by cos ck. Tan A equal to ck by cos ck. Now see cot A. Cot A arrow is going towards this one. Cot A equal to cos A by sin A. Cot A equal to cos ck by sin A. Result everything. You have to draw the diagram and you have to write the result. So again, tan A arrow is going towards this, 
tan a equal to sin a by cos a, cot a equal to what cos a by sin a. Now tan a equal to what ck by cos ck, tan a equal to ck by cos ck, cot a equal to what cos ck by ck, cot a equal to cos a by sin a. See the first result we learn. After that, what I'm doing? Listen, listen. Complement ratios, complement ratios. See this one. Horizontal line. This horizontal line we are using for complementary ratios. You know complementary ratios. 90. Complementary means what? 90. Supplementary means what? 180. Let us start. Sin 90 minus a cos a. Cos 90 minus a sin. Sin 90 minus a cos a. Cos 90 minus a what? Sin. Same way. Tan 90 minus a cot a. The red color. Tan 90 minus a cot a. Cot 90 minus a tan a. All horizontal line is complement ratios. Again, sin 90 minus a cos a reverse also cos 90 minus a sin a. Tan 90 minus a cot a, cot 90 minus a tan. 90 minus a will be there for the complement ratio. 90 minus a, I added complement ratio. Those who finished this chapter, they know what is the complementary ratios. Finally, sec 90 minus a cos ck, cos 90 minus a ck. Sec 90 minus a cos ck, cos 90 minus a what ck. This is the complement ratio. Now, whatever result you learn, first the arrow is related tan a. So, if any exam is there, this diagram you have to draw in a back page or rough paper somewhere. Once the exam started, then easily you can write all result from here. Again, I repeat tan a equal to sin a by cos a, tan a equal to ck by cos ck. Cot a equal to cos a by sin a, cot a equal to what? Cos ck by ck. Now, horizontal line we are using for complement ratios. So, what? Sin 90 minus a cos a, cos 90 minus a sin a, tan 90 minus a cot a, cot 90 minus a tan a, finally sec 90 minus a cos ck, cos 90 minus a ck. Now, next one, see, just write a one here, this one, now join opposite, opposite means this already actually uh, here the orange color and red color is coming together. Next I am telling about reciprocal. Reciprocal. Already I told you what is a reciprocal. Sin reciprocal. Sin reciprocal is what? Cosec, cos reciprocal, sec, and tan reciprocal. So this is the reciprocal ratios. This line. Reciprocal ratios. Okay, let's start. See. Sin reciprocal cosec. Cosec reciprocal sin. Sin reciprocal cosec. Reciprocal means one by we are taking. And one more thing you might remember a number and its reciprocal when we are multiplying will get how much one. That also you can make. See, sin reciprocal cosec, cosec reciprocal sin. Sin into cosec how much one? Sin into cosec how much one? Because one is the reciprocal of the other. So this into this is equal to one. Again, sin reciprocal is cosec, cosec reciprocal sin. Reverse also we have to. Sin into cosec how much one? Let's say cos reciprocal sec, sec reciprocal cos. Cos reciprocal sec, sec reciprocal cos. Cos into sec how much? 1. Finally, tan reciprocal cot, cot reciprocal how much? Tan. Tan reciprocal cot, cot reciprocal tan. So tan into cot how much? 1. So reciprocal ratios also we learn. First we learn tan a equal to sin a by cos a that one. Then complement ratio now reciprocal. Now finally, I am discussing uh, identities. See, this is the identities. Alternate triangle you take. See, identities. Identities. Clockwise direction. Clockwise direction. So you have to add clockwise direction. Ready? Sin square a plus cos square a equal to 1. Starting from sin, going towards cos, ending at 1. So you have to square and everything you have to add from your side. Sin square a plus cos square a equal to 1. Sin square a plus cos square a equal to 1. Again, starting from your first result I am writing. See, sin square a plus cos square a equal to what? 1. This is the first result. Now, second result. Starting from verb 1. 1 plus cos square a equal to starting from 1. This is starting from your going towards cos and 1 plus cos square a equal to cos square a. 1 plus cot square equal to what? Cos square. 1 plus cot square equal to what? Cos square. Is it 1 plus cot square equal to cos square? Next one. Start from verb. 
tan. So, tan square plus 1 equal to 6 square. Please see, all identity is over. Okay? Sin square plus cos square equal to 1. First identity. Second identity, 1 plus cos square equal to cos square. In school, you already learned it. 1 plus cos square equal to cos square. Starting from here, going towards this, ending at. Next one, tan square plus 1. Tan square plus 1 equal to what? C square. This is the identity. This much only in grade 10. And after that, there is a what? Trigonometric values. What is sin 30, sin 45, sin? That we are technique by using fingers. That will tell you. Just uh, try to understand this one. Didn't finish. Again. Reverse the answer we can move. I told you clockwise direction you have to add. Anti clockwise you can solve. Anyway, when you are rearranging many result you will get from here. Cos square equal to what? 1 minus sin square. Sin square equal to what? 1 minus cos square. From here, 1 equal to cos square minus cos square. Anyway, one more result. Just opposite direction. Anti clockwise. You subtract it. See, start from where 1 now. 1 minus cos square equal subtract. 1 minus cos square equal to sin square. See? 1 minus cos square equal to what sin square from here we are making. This is what? Cos square minus cos square equal to 1. See? Cos square minus cos square equal to 1. And this is from what? C square minus 1 equal to tan square. C square minus 1 equal to tan square. Still many result we can make but I am not giving everything. So if you are writing everything uh, to remember that even some other method we have to use. So just to try to understand this diagram how I drawn. So uh, don't forget this arrow heads is what tan a equal to sin a by cos a. Horizontal line is what complement ratio. This this and cross line is what reciprocal ratios and this one what is a symbol just like an angle symbol or something. Okay just like you would just call something. Okay this one we can call identities. Okay but the clockwise direction add and the clockwise direction is what subtract. Now next one, uh, how we can, this is a great and complete result came, now only trigonometry values are there, how we can remember it, sin 30 or math, but without practicing you can't remember it, without practicing. There is a lot of methods are there to remember trigonometry values, both methods I will tell you, but finger is the one of the easiest way, what you have to practice. Okay, I will update that soon, it will be there now self, just hold on. Okay, we can continue, I am not good in drawing, so for timing your hand up. This is your hand, five fingers should be there. If anybody has six fingers or four fingers, we can't use it properly. On this finger, you have to mark. Here you mark is zero. Here you mark 30, 45, 60, 90. Because that much values only are there in our uh, table, is it? So, here you have to mark is zero. 30, 45, 60, 90. This one. And this thumb, you have to mark sign and this uh, baby finger you have to mark the cause or not that one or either side because on the finger we cannot mark this side so I marked over here so this direct sign side that side is what cos side okay cos side now is that how we can listen carefully there is another method also is there that also will tell you how we can remember it sign 30 of which if anybody asks sin 30, just hold sin 30. Not only that one, I am writing cos 30 also. This is sin 30, we just hold it. So sin side how many finger? When we are holding sin 30, sin side how many finger? 30. The finger 30, sin side 1 finger. Cos 30, 3 finger. Cos side 3 finger. So sin side 1 finger, cos side 3 finger, is it? When we are holding sin side only one finger, cos side three fingers are there. Cos side how many fingers? Three fingers are there. Am I right? Okay, fine. Now, after that, both the number you divide by four, take root one by two. This is root three by two. You got the answer. This by practicing only you can. By practicing only you can. Now, next step I am going to hold. This is how much? 45. So, now I am going to hold 45. See? 45. Listen, sin 45, cos 45, how much? Sin 45 when we are holding, sin side two fingers, cos side also two finger. Both you divide by 4, take root. 
So you know when we are dividing 2 by 4 how much? 1 by 2. 1 by 2 root how much? 1 by root 2. 1 by root 2. We got that also. Next I am going to hold 60. This is 60. See? 60. How many fingers 60? How many fingers are those sign side 3? Cos side 1. See? Sign 60. Cos 60. Sign side 3 fingers. Cos side 1 finger. Am I right? This is 60. Sign side 3 finger. Cos side only 1 finger. Both you divide by 4. Take root. What is root of 3 by 4? Root 3 by 2. Correct or This is what? 1 by 2. Now, we finished 30, 45 and 60. Now, many people say it is difficult to remember. It is not like that. By practicing, immediately sir is coming to the class and asking, what is sine 30? You don't be panic. Sine 30, 1 finger, 1 by 4 root, 1 finger, sine 30, 1 finger, 1 by 4 root, 1 by 2. Uh, cos 30, 3 finger, 3 by 4 root, root 3 by 2. So, sine 45, 2 by 4, 1 by 2, that root 2. Always you divide by 4, then take root. Now, this is 60, sine 60, 3 finger, 3 by 4, root 1, root 3 by 2. Like that easily you can find. Didn't finish. Now 60, sorry, 0. Now I'm taking 0. 0 this one. What is sine 0? What is cos 0? See. 0 means this one. Sine side how many fingers? There is no finger. Zero. Is it? When we are taking, holding this one, there is no finger. So 0. Cos side how many fingers? When we are holding cos side, 4 fingers are there. So 4 fingers. Both you divide by 4, take root. How much? 0. This is what? 1. Now 90. How many fingers sign side? 4 finger. Sign 90. 4 fingers are there. This one. 4 by 4 root 1. And cos side any finger? No finger. So cos 90 is what? 0. This is the way to remember quickly. But another way also is there. To remember sign. That is what? You can write 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 4. Completely you divide by 4. Then take root. This is the value of sine. Sine 0, 0. Sine 30, 1 by 2. 1 by 4 root 2, 1 by 2. Sine 45, 1 by root 2. Sine 60, root 3 by 2. Sine 90, 1. And reversely, when you are right, you will get what? Tan, uh, cos. That just the sine and cos is just reverse. Reversely, when you are right, you will get what? Cos. Is it like that? But this is your right and But this by using fingers easily, you can find. Didn't finish. I discussed only sine, cos. Now tan how we can find. Already in the super hexagon, what I discussed before, you know tan equal to what by what sine by cos. So listen, how we can find it. Listen. How much? 30 degree. Is it? Sine said how many finger? One finger. Cos said how many finger? Three. Already I told you tan is what sine by cos. Tan is what sine by cos. So listen, tan 30 how we can find. Very easily we can find it. Tan 30 equal to. This is 30, sin said 1 finger, cos said 3 finger, so 1 by 3, no need to divide by 4, that take that root, 1 by root 3. Again, tan 30, sin said only 1 finger, cos said 3 finger, so what, 1 by 3 root. Tan 45, practice, that would I want to tell repeatedly, tan 45, sin said 2 finger, cos said also 2 finger, so 2 by 2, 2 by 2 root of which 1. Now 16. Sin said 3 finger, cos said 1 finger because tan is sin by cos. So tan 60 what we can say, uh, 3 by 1 that root, what will be root 3. Now tan 0, tan 0 sin said no finger, cos said, so tan 0, 0 by 4 is it? Because sin said there is no finger, cos said 4 finger, so what is this? 0. Tan 90, how much? Tan 90 this one, sin said 4 finger. Cos said no finger, so 4 by 0 is what? Not defined, infinite, not defined. So practice it repeatedly. This much only, within 20 minutes, I told you complete result. One is by using one diagram, one is by using the fingers. So easily you people can remember. Don't memorize it, don't buy heart it, don't buy heart it, but diagram you draw and practice. 100% it will work and it will be very helpful to you. And like that grade 11 results also many codes are there to make. So for, for time you try to understand, draw the diagram and practice it. Finger especially how to practice, of course you can. By writing, by using pen you can uh, practice it, of course you can remember it. Okay, that's how I hope you understood this one. Okay, thank you.